What is up, YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about e-learning and the different types of learning online and how that can lead to an amazing career. That's right, how learning online can lead to a major career. So we're going to talk about e-learning 101 and how it can help your career. First, we're going to get into talking about those different types of learning that you can do on the internet by using your computer, of course. So e-learning is called online learning, and also sometimes it can be called distance learning. They're kind of interchangeable, usually synchronous or asynchronous. So synchronous learning is typically when you're learning at the same time and you're online with an educator, trainer, or an instructor. This takes place on the computer, via Zoom or WebEx, or some sort of learning platform at a set time. The asynchronous learning is something that takes place in your spare time, when you're at home, you could learn at your own pace, typically within a set amount of time, six months, one year, or all around the world. You can connect to courses and you can connect to people. Some of the asynchronous courses also have an element where you can do a project or actually even work an apprenticeship and make money to continue to the next level in your career and skills. Before I get into all of that, everybody, welcome back to my channel, Teaching Trends. It's been quite some time that I've talked about remote jobs, entry-level jobs, medical careers, and even new apprenticeships and data entry jobs. I'm gonna be getting into that new career field of data entry, data validation, and data analytics. I've missed you guys, so we're gonna be talking all about this data and those careers that you can get from it. There's entry level and all sorts of careers online. So data analytics, what really is it? You're checking the data quality, you're looking at the data's information that you enter, and you're looking at how accurate this information is based on a standard. You're gonna be looking for the quality of information, how the information maintains its integrity and follows the standards. Today, we're gonna to talk about how this works in healthcare. There is validation program through Medicare called data validation. Typically, these data validation activities are called RADV audits. So giving you an example, a doctor sees a patient, he gathers information and enters it into the computer. He's gathering patient data. With certain insurances like Medicare, Medicare has a data validation program to ensure that the information is accurate when it's placed into their medical record. The data validation ensures that payments are being made properly to patients, that we're gathering enough information so that we can tell how well we're providing care and we can make sure we are putting money in the right place for the patient's care. This type of data validation ensures that if improper payments are made to those private insurance companies or those organizations that perform services for Medicare, that that money is recouped. And that is done by looking at the standards, checking them and making sure there are no overpayments. So we're validating that information for Medicare and RADV audits. So, for those of you out there who are newer to entry level type careers, or those who are biller and coders, nurses, those who have worked in healthcare at insurance companies, Medicare has a free data validation course. That's right, you can take this and check out the data validation activities. You will learn to plan, perform, and organize your data validation activities through this free course through Medicare. You don't have to worry about traveling, paying for this particular program, and it can really get you into 
learning about data and what data validation is. Now, in case you thought this was just for healthcare, you're wrong. There are all sorts of data validation jobs that are out there. There are some data validation jobs in finance, accounting, anywhere where there is data and information that can be compiled into a report. Maybe you've worked in an industry that documented inventory and you had to validate the quality of that data. Maybe you've worked in accounting and you're working for a project or the IRS. IRS has validation activities to validate information. Let's take a look at some of these jobs in industries other than healthcare that you will see data validation activities where you may be able to work. Many of those healthcare related jobs are in health information management, HIT, data validation, or bad fee audits for Medicare, auditing medical records, even for auditing medical records for legal documents like HIPAA forms and consent forms. The areas, they are vast when it comes to a lot of other careers. If we're looking at this documentation here from onetonline.org, you will see to the right that there's validation engineers, financial qualitative analysts, clinical data managers, data warehousing specialists, data entry keyers, quality control analysts. All of this takes place on a computer using a database and software to track and measure the quality of information if the information is valid. So it's just not healthcare, it's also financing, business, insurance. Many of you probably have data validation experience and don't even realize it because it was just a skill that you performed as part of a previous job. Care jobs are actually searchable. You could look for them on Glassdoor. You can look for them on Onet Online. Even a great one, usajobs.gov. Make sure you look at these particular jobs. If you're looking at ONET online, you can find salaries, ranges in certain states, and how much they're looking to pay for this type of job. ONET includes some careers such as data scientists, validation specialists, clinical data managers, data entry keyers. Maybe you've entered key information before, or quality control analyst, quality control information. They even have cashiers lower down on this list if you go in and look. If you had to balance a cash sheet, make sure you validated that certain amounts checked out with banking. If you had to validate and verify client, patient, or business information, all of that is validation activity. These validation activities ensure that processes are being followed properly. Data analytics goes further into types of reports that are generated from validating the data. So I will be making a separate video on data analytics in the future. USAjobs.gov. You can also look for salaries on ONET Online and here at ZipRecruiter. We're gonna start with the data entry clerk. Many of us have entered data, and as you can see, the salary in general for that data entry clerk, depending on where you live, is anywhere in the 40 to up to 51 to $52,000 a year. Now this is generally, you may have a lot of experience and get paid more than that. But let's say you've been doing this for a while and you've done data work or you're a data manager. You're going to be making more in the $60,000 range, 70, maybe even $80,000 a year. When you get into data and understanding it, 
in actually going through a validation process, a process that is put into place to make sure you're following guidelines and protocols and you're implementing that particular process in validation, then the salaries are in the 90,000s to 100,000. So you could be closer to a data validation career than you think. It could be a lot closer. Maybe it's in accounting. Maybe it's in financing. Maybe it's in one of these areas. Don't forget to check the pinned comments for the free course.